Hi guys and dolls, welcome back to another outfit of the day. For the next few weeks, I have partnered with Torrid to bring you some style inspiration videos, and I hope that you're enjoying them. So my outfit today is definitely centered around this dress, which is a modern interpretation of a 70s wrap dress. It's sort of a mock wrap dress, because it doesn't really wrap, but you know. It has a beautiful floral print, so it's perfectly on trend for spring, but also kind of, again, speaking back to that 70s trend, there was a lot of florals going on in the 70s. And the colors are slightly reminiscent of 70s with also a modern interpretation with the bright pink that it has. The shades in here, we have some orange, some peach, a little bit of gray, uh, some cream, and then magenta. And then the magenta and orange actually overlap in some areas, creating a red. It's just, it's a really, really beautiful dress, and you guys know I have a thing for magenta and hot pinks. So this is a little bit less conservative than my last outfit. It does show quite a bit of cleavage, which I'll be completely honest with you guys, I'm not completely super comfortable with. But it's okay, it's a sexy dress, and that's kind of the point, and every now and then it's good to feel a little sexy. So the fabric of the dress is a chiffon fabric, so it's very, very light, very flowy, you can kind of turn and twirl in it, and it just feels very, very comfortable and light. The dress is also lined, so you don't have to wear a slip underneath it or anything, which is really great. I'm just like lifting up my skirt on camera, because... You know, that's cool. The dress is sort of loud and proud. It has a very busy pattern. Uh, it has a, you know, the longer sleeve, so there's a lot of area of the dress. So I decided to pair this dress with more simple uh, accessories. So I'm not wearing any bracelets. I'm wearing very simple earrings, simple necklace. And then for my legs, I chose to wear just black tights and black boots. Something very, very simple, and it creates the illusion that my legs are a little bit, you know, slimmer because it's all one thing. It's not broken up. If I had worn the boots without the black tights, it would end up looking like, here's the boot, here's the dress, and it would kind of cut the legs off and make them look a little bit more stumpy. But as you can see, it just creates like this illusion of just like a little bit longer of a leg, and it just looks really nice. This also looks really good with heels and no stockings. Uh, yeah, so that is basically my outfit. Let me go ahead and get a little bit closer so that you guys can see my makeup. So for my hair and makeup today, I wanted to do something that really spoke to the dress without actually matching the dress in terms of the exact colors that I would use. So I went for, uh, you know, kind of a softer look. I don't usually pull my bangs back like this, but actually I kind of like it. I might do it more often now. I just kind of looked up 70s hairstyles, and my hair is a bob, so I can't necessarily do like the Farrah Fawcett waves with it, but uh, kind of pulling part of it back looked like it was kind of 70s, so, you know, whatever. For my makeup today, I wanted to keep the shapes and colors really soft and, you know, relatively neutral, something that would be very, very pretty, and it would go with the style of the dress without actually matching it in terms of colors. Uh, when you have a dress that's this busy, it has, you know, obviously a floral plat pattern all over it, it has bolder colors, you don't necessarily have to match it with color but uh, you want to kind of match it with style. Also because this dress has a 70s vibe I didn't want to wear makeup that was very very 70s because then I could start to look a little costumey. You also don't want to wear makeup that's too modern because then the styles sort of clash. So I just kind of kept it cohesive, kept the color soft. I used some of my Jordana uh, duo eyeshadows. I used the Naked palette. I used full coverage foundation because my skin has declared war on me because I've been sick awesome times. And I wore a lipstick by Milani. I will have the information for all of my makeup and everything in the down bar if you're interested. So when it came to my jewelry, I wanted to wear something that actually was authentic and from the 70s. These earrings either belong to my mother or my grandmother, I'm not entirely sure, although I think that they were my mom's. They're the enamel and gold earrings that were very popular in the 70s, and they're actually little peacocks, which is just kind of fun, especially since like feathers are in trend, so it's speaking to modern trend with something that's actually old, which I love. Uh, for my necklace, I am wearing a Tiffany key that my husband gave me for my birthday, so thank you, honey. And then I'm also wearing my, my wedding ring, and that's it for jewelry. Oh, and a nose ring. But that's it for jewelry. I didn't feel the need to wear bracelets and things because the sleeves on this are so long. One last tip before we end this video is that when you're wearing a low-cut top like this, it can be a little bit tricky to make sure that everything stays in place. Something I found that I'm kind of obsessed with right now, it's called Hollywood Fashion Tape, any kind of double-sided tape. This was sent to me from a company called Hollywood Style Secrets or something like that. You can get it at Rite Aid. And what you do is you open it up, and I love that it's in a little tin, you can keep it in your purse. Genius! Anyway, uh, you peel it off the strip, stick it on your skin, stick down the top, and then it stays in place, even though, you know, there's no pins or anything to keep it closed, it's not too tight, it can still be kind of loose, and you can have that kind of flowing free look, but know that you're secure. So, anyway, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. See you next time. Bye.